Right, today we're going to talk about checking the gas charge on your expansion vessel. A lot of people don't think that this is important, but actually if the gas charge in your expansion vessel needs adjusting, the effects on your system, the wider system, can be quite dramatic. People don't realise that what we have in here is a gas charge and space for the expanded water to go, separated by a rubber diaphragm. Everybody believes that rubber is gas tight, but strangely enough, if you've had a party in your home and you've ever found a balloon behind the sofa after two weeks, it's all shriveled up because the gas has gone through the rubber. The important thing for us here in our heating system is to make sure that this gas charge is appropriate for the system. So what we need to do is we're going to check the gas charge, but if we've got any water in this vessel at all, it will give us a false reading. So here we can see we've got a system at one bar, but if we now measure the gas charge here, we'll know what it is we're actually looking at. So, pop off the cover, remove the dust cap from the Schrader valve. So now if I take the gas charge, it reads one bar. So now what I need to do is drain the vessel and take the gas charge again. So to drain the vessel, what I need to do is attach a hose. Now, the hose is very important because if we don't attach a hose for draining the vessel, then the effects would be catastrophic. Little oh look, sent it all across the wall. This is draining from the vessel and not in the system. So from there, we can now take this to a more sensible bucket arrangement. And as I isolate the valve from the system, I can safely drain it to something else. Okay, so now we've drained the expansion vessel, isolated from the system, all of the water's out of it. Now we need to check the gas charge again. 0.65. If we decide that we need to put any more gas into, into the gas charge, we could either use a nitrogen bottle or a car foot pump or a small compressor. A bicycle pump's just not gonna have the power to do it. We recharge it whilst it's still dry and isolated from the system. Then after that, what we do, we put the dust cap back on and the protective cover. We reopen it to the system. Job done.